Number one thing, number one quick thing to talk about. We have to recap a little bit about Sober October and talk about Locked In November. As you can tell by the title of my new thing that I'm going for in November, Sober October is a bit of a myth. Not because of what you're thinking. Not because I got off the wagon and I got super high or I got drunk. That didn't happen. That's not a real problem. To be honest, I've also realized, I said mentioned before on the Patreon, check the Patreon. There's a bonus episode on there at the moment, which is bonus episode number 34. I'm going to be doing a Taz bonus show every Friday and a random show bonus every Sunday on the Patreon going forward to make sure that it's of value for those of you that subscribe to the Patreon. So make sure you subscribe to the Patreon. The link should be in the bottom of the description of this particular video or of the podcast if you're listening later which is patreon.com for just agostino subscriptions are on there listen to it but i did dive into it a little bit but i'm going to touch on it a bit here again basically sober sober, sober october is a wash mainly because of the output stuff i found i didn't find not drinking or doing drugs all that other stuff no processed food or carbs hard what i actually find was the output like creating things creating a blog post creating a sub stack doing you know other bits and bobs like reading all this stuff that was the stuff that i actually found way more difficult to do and actually you know what to be completely honest no i also found hard not touching my phone before 12 there were a few times in the month where i jumped on the phone before 12 p.m i was like oh shit it was like an automatic reaction so that took a while to get out of my habit of doing that but quitting the coffee quitting the processed sugars um quitting the carbs the booze again it's easy because you know as much as a party boy i am i don't ever have booze at home so, so you know I, I need a and i don't usually go out if i don't have some multivitamins to be honest you know or if i do go out with no multivitamins i'm going out solely for that so i'm a little bit on and off kind of guy but usually if i don't have drinks at home i'm not going out and if i'm not going out i'm staying in so I found the, the not drinking thing super easy. So I have to thank mainly, mainly my parents because I grew up in a household where drinking at home wasn't normal. And then when I moved out, yes, I did go a bit crazy for maybe a year when you, you know, you move out, you get your own place and you're oh, I can do what I want. I can buy all the Nutella. Oh, I can stay up until 6 a.m. You do that for like a year. <clears throat> but then I settled down. So the boozing thing was never a problem. I'm so thankful the drug thing is not a problem either. I wasn't like joining for anything and you know, I didn't get tempted any at any point. And um but yeah, I found the writing of the blog post, the writing of the Substack, the reading, I found all of that stuff complete very difficult because I've got myself into some bad habits over the last two years because prior, you know, I was banging out a, a language learning per day, an hour. I was banging out an hour of reading. I was banging out all these type of things super easy because I had really good habits. But I think since the pandemic and being locked at home and having my job be mainly on my laptop, be mainly working from home, I've kind of got into some bad habits, which is like being too much on social media, being too much on my phone in general, and not actually doing things apart from just like, you know, consuming content. So for this month, I'm going to rewrite all the things that I did wrong. And I've added some more things on it, added some more things on it. So it's a really extensive list. It's a bit crazy. But for me personally, I love to put a lot of crazy stuff on there, go a bit nuts, maybe put too much on there and then see how much I can do by the end of the month, right? I'm going in it with the obviously clear intent of doing it. But the main point of it is to trust yourself and to push yourself and to show yourself, oh shit, I can actually get done way more than I think I can get done. I'm way more capable of than what I think I'm capable of. And to also remind myself of how much time I'm wasting. You know, there's so many hours in the day. I think all of us are the same. We always make excuses about, oh, I don't have time. I don't have time. Yes, you do. You have time for everything, but you just make time for the things that you actually want to do. And the fact that you're not doing some things, even though it's breaking your heart, is because you don't want to do it. So you can always find a time, especially if you're someone like myself who does have a family and shit. That's it makes it a little bit more easy. So obviously, if you've got a fam, an actual family with real life human being children, it's a lot more difficult. It's, but even if you've got a dog, it's fucking difficult because you've got to look after the thing and shit, right? So um, I'm lucky that I don't have one, so I can be a little bit crazy, and and pers and I don't really have a big social group. I, you know, let's be honest, I have zero friends apart from two. Big up my two friends. You know who you are. <laughs> <laughs> but that makes it easy for just me to just lock in you know what i mean and completely like you know um forget about the outside world so lock in november it already started yesterday i'm um, obviously second day if you listen today i'm recording this episode on the second on the second of november saturday evening locked in november goes as follows i am abstaining alcohol drugs carbs 
processed sugars and social media before 12 p.m now all of those are super easy i got through that super easy the first round i think the hardest thing was definitely the social media just because i just forgot not because i was like itching to get on socials but i generally just forgot not to check my phone like the automatic re you know response or you know thing reflex is just to grab my phone in the morning so i have to get used to not grabbing my phone get used to getting some sunlight getting some vitamin d letting my eyes actually even though there's no sun you know it's in england i've been in london for goodness sake just see the fucking skyline you know get get some fresh air maybe get some steps in whatever it may be but just not get all that you know social media content in because it's too much plus my feed as well is very toxic i love my feed my feed is toxic like i've got public freak out i've got like accidents you know um tragedies around the world and shit like i've got some misery pain and just torment and hurt on my feed plus some funny stuff but majority of that is that fashion some sneaker stuff but it's a lot of pain it's a lot of misery so i don't need to see that stuff hitting me in the face before 12 p.m in the afternoon every day so that's the first part the second part of locked in november goes as follows hobbies and things i would do during the whole month here we go read two hours per day now this is going to be a lot easier because i recently got a new job so i'll be commuting more in the mornings i won't be working from home as much as i was previously which is annoying but you know the good thing about it is that i'll be able to get more book reading in because prior when i was commuting to work you know when it was prior to the pandemic i'd be i'd get through like legit no word of a lie six books a month but that's because i was traveling 30 minutes to work you know back and forth and then sometimes uh, on the other on the other end when i was coming back home from work i would purposely take the long way so i'd get like an hour or and a half of uninterrupted book reading in like i'll purposely take the bus i'll purposely walk for a bit i'll purposely sit in the bench park bench near my workplace and just read before i jump on public transport i was that kind of you know i was that much of a geek that much of a loser that much of a r word so now that i'm commuting to this new job i'll get more opportunities to do so and obviously there'll be a lunch break also and you know me i'm not someone for the fucking ha ha he he social fucking lunch breaks i'll go off my own like a fucking weirdo and sit next to a tree and eat my fucking salad that i made at home and obviously put out my book so that's gonna be super easy to do um run walk minimum three miles per day is gonna be super easy to do again because i'm cutting out the social media so i'll be able to get up in the morning and do that especially prior to work because i find that sometimes when you have like a for me anyway i i feel like when it when this was running when because my previous role was more i had like international hours but now i'm gonna have like regular uk hours like nine to six nine to five shit because i have those hours i always feel like i have to kind of get my shit done before the workday starts i don't want to go to work and have to like oh now i have to like rush home go to the gym read all this stuff so i try to get stuff done in the morning so most likely what i'll do going forward is i'll be waking up at like five to go for my runs and shit or go for my workouts just so i can get it done in the morning so that when the evening comes around i'm free and i'm not so like nervous or anxious about getting home quickly and also you know how workplaces are if you're not around after work for drinks and stuff it can really hamper your opportunities or you know how you're seen so sometimes it's good to just get your own personal life things done before the workday starts so that if they do say oh my god there's a team meeting there's this someone's birthday you don't say no you don't be the weirdo that says no because sometimes that can really affect it shouldn't really right you should always be judged on how good you are of an employee the work that you do you know whatever but really and truly we know that's not the truth it's to how people you know respond to you if they like you or not and a big part of being liked even if you don't drink or whatever is just to be at these things you know just to at least be there in body and spirit so i'm gonna give myself leave myself open and not be as weird and you know anti-social as i was in previous places where i would literally like run away from people you know as soon as the the, the clock strikes six i'd be out there and ran away like you know like you opened the door a fucking cockroach infested flat or something scattering um <clears throat> continuing on workout minimum for one hour per day easy i do that already one hour spanish language <coughs> learning on top of the reading is going to be difficult but i'm going to try it one D one dj mix per day again difficult but i'm going to try it one random show live stream per day again very difficult going to try it and one task per day very difficult going to try it now the live stream random show thing i'm going to do it but I'm not going to hold myself hostage to the time because sometimes when I do random shows, I feel like I cheat the audience when I don't have them be like over four hours. It's like, oh man, these things are, you know, I'm kind of known for like sitting down and ranting about comedy for hours and hours and hours and wasting a bunch of time. 
And I feel like people like to see that from me. So when you're sitting down to watch my random show, I don't want you to sing, oh my God, it's only an hour. Do you know what I mean? But because I want to do it like a, you know, like a marathon for the month, I'm just going to bang out as much as possible. So I'm going to do an hour, let's say a minimum per day of random show. If it goes longer, it goes longer, but that's what I'll probably end up doing. Um, one hour of Taz per day is, is I mean, what's a one Taz per day um, is easy. Again, that's not a biggie. I, I bang these out easily. Um, write and publish a blog per day and write and publish a sub per day is going to be very difficult but i'm going to try i'm going to split the different content so i think the blog will be default it's the my regular blog which is default goon dot wordpress.com i think i think that's the, the url um that would just be like you know random thoughts put out on the blog post but the substack will be a little bit more of a well thought out it wouldn't well thought out but it'd be a bit more of a quote-unquote article that's what i'll try and do anyway try and separate it that way let's see how long that lasts but generally that's what i, I tend to do back in the day so that's basically what i'm going to be doing going forward to locked in november again it's very intimidating there's a lot on there it's if to some people it might look impossible but i like good impossible tasks to challenge myself push myself especially heading into the end of the year especially for me too because it's been a shit year i'm not gonna lie i mentioned before on patreon it's been a fucking shit year one of my worst years ever i think in general nothing too crazy to kind of you know bleat on about but just i'm just happy to get it over and done with but i also want to end the year strong i don't want to just like you know crawl over the line for 2024 you know crying i also want to get over the line very very strong you know i want to get in or get over the line locked in if that makes any sense so locked in november 2024 we're going we're doing it i've already got a bit of an update already there you can see obviously the uh, the sober october findings and shit that i put there and it's already a thread of what i did yesterday in the gym and i'm gonna go again after i finish today to get my other gym workout sorted in as well so that'll be the thread that will update all my you know feelings and whatnot should be updated on there so check me out on twitter if you want to see that you know link should be in the description as well it's my full name you'll be able to find me you'll be able to figure it out you'll be able to figure it out you get me cool moving on moving on